welcome back to my channel and today we'll be doing something that is very 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 dear to me I over the Christmas holiday what I was doing on my day off was actually doing a coloring book um I was actually inspired to do this coloring book by Casey Golden and she is another maestro of YouTube art um, she has a channel which I do follow and I also follow her on Instagram. I will link her channel in the description below so you can check it out. And she inspired me to do this coloring book. Now, what she did was a storybook for Inktober in which she developed a new character and she made her new characters went on an adventure together and i thought that was so all inspiring i actually enjoyed it i will see if i can also browse for that where she actually did the read through or did the or showed off her inktober book i thought it was so amazing and i wanted to do something similar with my original characters and that's what i did I made a little sketchbook. It's now it's only about 20 pages, so it's not a huge sketchbook. Oh no, it's actually I did put together the sketchbook, but I also did make a little coloring book, sorry. And yeah, it's how my two original well, I have all my original characters in this. It's called How September, which is my original character. And Theo, which is actually stands for Theodore the Toucan, how these two met. How September Met Theo and it is narrated and illustrated by me. I also have the date in which I finished it which was December 8th. So it was something that I was working on in the month of December on my day off. Of course before we get started I do have my disclaimers I have to give out. I live near a major highway here in the country of Belize and so you will hear those motor vehicles in my background. I also lived outside of a major city of in the country of Belize and where I live there's a lot of wild birds. It's a very bright and sunny day so they will definitely be out um, calling, chirping, making a whole bunch of noise. And I also have dogs. I personally have dogs and if anyone comes near the house or disturbs their slumber, they will start barking. My neighbors also have dogs where I live now, and so if anyone comes near their house or disturb their dog slumber, you will hear them bark as well. And with that, let's get back to our regular scheduled program. Okay, so let me give you a tour of my first ever little coloring book. I've always said that my style is actually cheap coloring book style, and I want to give you guys a tour of it okay so this is the cover as you know this there's nothing printed on the cover because that's what we're gonna do today we're gonna design the cover of this coloring book but inside it got a little rip to the edge I have the title how September met Theo I have the date I completed and I just have September waking up in the morning and then I have these little plant-like creatures. Now, this is a new character for this book. I will call these creatures knee paws. And that's because I was thinking of a tulip-like um, vegetable. Is tulip a vegetable? I believe it is. Um, and I don't know. I just wanted to have a nice, cute little name that sounds tulipy. And so I call these little plants here knee paws that she plants. This is Theo, as you can see, he's crying because his wing looks like it's broken because it has an abnormal bend in it. And near September, she heard Theo crying, went to see what's wrong. And you know, she's helping him out. She is putting put a bandage over his wings so that you know you could put it back into place and there they are talking i'm sure september is telling theo about her family about her house and he can stay with her until he gets better and then here they are going into the city now september is kind of like me where she doesn't live in the city she actually lives outside 
the major city. But unlike me, she does gardening. I don't do gardening personally, okay? So there they are going to the city, probably going to Theo's doctor. And here they are, watering September's Nepal garden. Here Theo is sleeping in his little makeshift bed September made for him by the window. And here they are now taking a stroll into the, we call it bushes here in Belize, but I'm sure it's a foresty area where near where September lives. They're taking a little stroll in there. And I guess one day on their little stroll in the neighborhood where September lives, where there's a lot of forest or in the meadows, Theo came near a hold. He got lost and he came near this very deep, dark hold. I am sure he probably fell through because the next scene shows September going in through the hold after Theo. When they reached the hold, um, it was a cave and then they saw these mushrooms and some strange little creatures moving around the mushrooms and they were like curious of what it is so September took a closer look and it was there she saw the pally sticks. Yes, I said it was actually an amazing turn of events when coming up with this story. I was like, oh yeah, I could probably find a way to put the pally sticks into this little coloring book and make them be part of the story. And she saw the pally sticks. And if you notice in my art, a lot of times when I draw the pally sticks, I draw them in a mushroom garden. So yeah, she went to the cave, saw the pally sticks in the mushroom garden. Here they are coming out of the hold. And here they are walking back home. I'm sure they're talking about the adventures they just went through and the little palace sticks they saw. And now some time had passed. Theo's wing is all better, so they're taking off the bandage. And there Theo is flying above the home. Um, um you know, to fly away because he's all better, so he can go about his business. But I'm sure he probably missed September from all the adventures they had together and he decided to return back to September and stay and that's the end of my story now the reason why there is no words in this little coloring book adventure storybook thing like is because I was thinking of instead of me telling the story I just show the pictures and anyone who gets a copy of this book can basically tell their own story of what exactly is happening. Now, that's just what I think. Maybe somebody, I'm sorry, my neighbors are, uh, you know, doing dynamics. It is still the 1st of January. Yes, today's still the 1st of January. So, um, I did several videos today. And, um... So anyone who gets my little book or get a copy of this book, because I do have an electronic version of it, can basically put their own spin on this story. And, you know, it doesn't have to be what I say it is. Also, the other thing I should tell you guys is that there is a free sample of these pages from this very storybook on my Instagram. I will show you my Instagram account right about here and so if you want the first 10 pages to this story you can go on my Instagram and it's right there you can download it for coloring it is free and that's it now let's get to the illustration of this story coloring book
um, I'm all lined up, I'm all drawn up, and you guys saw that entire process. Um, the eraser that I used was actually the Fiber Castell Dust Eraser that I got in the Jazzy Jazzes. Well, Jazzes, Jazzy's art box. And what I love about this eraser is that it doesn't fade the line work or the ink work as much as other erasers that I have. So yeah, that's why I chose to use this eraser throughout this entire coloring book. And for the cover, the cover art of this, I will be using the Cali Art markers. And I'll also be using this piece of Bristol board here. That I have this scrap piece of Bristol board. I actually devised this Bristol board in this um, I think it's an A4 size specifically for when I'm doing artwork that require markers because the cover, the actual cover of this is actually also Bristol board. It's a little, um, I think this is 80 pounds. I believe they told me in the store this is 80 pound weight. So it's a little thin. And I was the one who put this book together. I bought the pages and I got the white piece of Bristol board and I put this book together. So I'll just put it between here to kind of protect this page from any bleed through. And uh, let's get to the coloring, shall we? colored up uh, yeah I really really enjoyed that I was as usual while I was coloring my little illustration I was listening to some jazz and I actually enjoyed it um, I'm just gonna finish up the little pieces to this book so that you know when we open it we don't see this huge amount of bleed through I'll probably have to put some kind of inner line in here so that the bleed through doesn't show but yeah i really do i'll probably put some clear adhesive over this so that i could make some kind of waterproof covering like i normally do because this is personal this is not what i'm gonna sell this is actually very personal for me and yeah that's my dog she's been barking non-stop i guess someone is coming near the house but all in all, thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey. And as usual, stay safe, stay blessed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.